Yo, yo, yo. Hey, 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 guys. It's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, and um, Romero, Sergio Romero to leave Manchester United. Obviously, he had one year left. Um, he's not getting a new deal. Um, and I kind of just want to talk about this because it's not really been covered by many Manchester United channels, but I thought it was important to talk about. Um, and before I get into it, if you're new to the channel, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, you're on X, smash the notification button, Blaze Manchester United News. But in all this sort of talk with the Glazers fan forum and um, Jaden Sancho and all the rest of it, um, and the fact that we got news that um, Juan Matt and Lee Grant might be talking about getting a new deal. The fact that Sergio Romero, I think, has left the club for free is, in my opinion, one of the biggest um, disgraces, actually, um, from Manchester United recently. Not only that, but just the way that he was treated. The way that he was treated was was bad by the team and by the club. Um, I'd argue worse than Herrera, because at least Herrera was part of the first team up in that season before he left. Um, we had a situation where Romero wanted to leave and he could have gone to Everton for about £4 million. Instead, because we were money hungry, because obviously everyone trusts the Glazers now because they've they've said a few words. They've said a few words and now suddenly they're going to be doing things. Let's just let a little croc. Um, we had a situation where this, this, this guy could have been sold at least to Everton for four million. Instead, we pay him four million. So therefore, we're eight, therefore we're eight million worse off if you think about it. He's now gone for free. To be honest, I, 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 I don't understand the rationale behind why we have a guy who was an international. He was number one for Argentina whilst he was at Manchester United. He's played. I mean, and this is for anyone that talks about David De Gea and even Dean Henderson now world classes. I think people really disrespected Sergio Romero's contributions to our club and what he was. This is a guy who was an international first choice who played in a World Cup final, who won us, was in goal in the Europa League when we won the Europa League. And I think the League Cup as well, I think. I'm not 100% sure about that, but definitely in the first two. One of our major trophies since Perth Ferrari. And last season, our coach, and I hold this against Oli, said, you know what? Even though you've got us through to semi-final, I'm going to put David De Gea in, who's basically made, um, uh, who I was having a terrible season, I'm going to switch him because I want him to be happy, man. So put him in goal. Um, and De Gea, and uh, Sergio was pissed. And what happened in that semi-final? We lost. I'm not saying we would have won necessarily with Sergio Romero in goal, but the point, the point is, he got us there. He, sh he should have been there. That's what I'm saying. That, 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 that's all I'm saying. Um, and if, 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 you want me, if you want me to be honest, to go down and be really real, if Sergio Romero was in goal... This season in the cup competitions, we win that Europa League because I can tell you, I can tell you, he would have saved at least one of those penalties in that final. Okay, like the disrespect on this guy, I think is is, um, and that's why I'm making a video. I'm not saying this is going to get tons of views or of interest, but you know, thank you, Sergio Romero, because I've not seen anything from the United website. I've not seen anything from. Um, you know, uh, like Twitter, there's, there's just, there's just nothing. It's just a guy who was, you know, who gave something to Manchester United. You know, secured us at least the Europa League. Was a good second choice before Dean Henderson obviously came in, and we're thinking that um, the likes of Lee Grant and Tom Heaton. I mean, first of all, I don't know why you even need four keepers for the for the, for the start, of, but you know, no, 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 no. Um, He's been massive, and I and I generally hope, as David Gea said, um, that he goes um, and he goes to a club that respects him. Because to be honest, any club, I mean, and even Everton, maybe can now pick him for free. He could get into any club, um, and I think that he would improve their team, much like when Arsenal let Martinez went because they thought, oh, you know what, we've got Leno, so it's all good. Just watch and see how Romero does um, in a, in a team that actually gives him a respect. So thank you, Sir Romero. I appreciate your contribution to Manchester United. I wish you all the best. Unfortunately, we are run um, by thieves. Um, it's really as simple as that.
Anyway, guys, if you to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devils 2J, Force and Drew 9X, smash the notification button, face Manchester United news. Sergio, man, um, we're going to miss you. We are definitely going to miss you. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers.